Good morning everyone, welcome back to my channel, Bring It To Life With Gail. So today I am going to be redoing some furniture, but I wanted to show you what I found next to the road. First I found this cute little bench, what's wrong with it you say? It is kind of just coming apart right there. It is a perfect color for my house, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean it up, wash it out, then I found this uh, beautiful container. It is filthy beyond dreams, but what I'm going to do is I'm also going to just going to clean it up. They run about $20, $24. So yeah, on the side of the road, score me. And then these little baskets here are for um, buffets during the holidays. I use them all the time. So I just picked them up. They're like 3 to $4 each, I think. So, Or you can get a whole packet. But anyways, I picked those up there on the side of the road. I'm going to wash them up, put them with my storage. Now this item here if you all know, in one of my previous videos, I told you I was going to be redoing my bedroom. And I wanted a side table. I wanted to get two to match. But then I decided one came with my husband's already on this side. So I decided I wanted a bigger one for me. And I picked up this item um, for $10. It does have all three door drawers. Here's one of the drawers right there. Let me show you the front. It has like two beautiful hinges, which I'm going to leave the way it is. And it does have a key for this one. It does have a lock on it, but the other ones don't. And it does have the dove finishing. So it's really well made. Um, I'm actually going to paint it white. I know some of you are like, no, don't paint it. But it doesn't match my bedroom unless I paint it. And I'm actually going to try to get a mirror not to glue it but just to put on the top of this to protect it plus i wanted the, the white and mirror look so for ten dollars i can't beat that and this if you all ask it's just a little table it is filthy but i am going to clean it up with some murphy as the oil so okay so sorry i'm coming behind the camera so the first thing I wanted to do was get this little bench cleaned up and repaired. I kind of put it back into place. What I'm going to do eventually here is I'm actually going to glue it. How cute is this for free on the side of the road? You just can't be shy about picking up those things. I'm just using some regular Murphy's oil. And what I'm doing is I'm just going to go ahead and scrub this up. And see where I'm at. Um, super easy to do this. And when it's a feast, free piece of furniture, I already know where I'm putting it. And I already ordered my little plaid uh, buffalo black and white pillows to go on this. So it's going to look super cute. And I actually have a place for it. So when it's all done and set up, I will show it to you. Okay. So for the next piece, I want to do, oops, sorry, and my battery's dying, perfect timing. So for the next piece, I want to do this right here. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to wash it up and then I will show you what. So for this project, what I am using, I'm just using some glidden, glidden paint and I'm using the semi-gloss because I don't want a really super shiny, but I do want it a little bit, you know, a little bit of gloss on it. Make sure that you um, have some ventilation, you know, when you're painting. And, and I know some of you are screeching at me right now, but I bought this at a good price because I wanted to paint it. I know some of you would not be painting right now, but I really want to paint this because it's going to match my decor in my room. So make sure you stir it. And I did wash it and it feels so nice. Sorry there. It feels so nice and, and Murphy's oil has just this beautiful scent too. So um, I noticed too there's a couple of dings on top but it's not a big deal. And then I'm just using a um, wood paintbrush. So, and the first coat is just going to be really quick, and then the second coat, I will take more of my time. So, the point of no return, you guys. Here we go. 
<laughs> I'm shaking because I'm not sure if I want to or not, but I am. Here it goes. I think it's going to look really good. I might even need three coats. So I'm just going to continue painting and I'll show you the results. So here is the first coat. It's probably going to need like three. You can see some of the brush strokes, but I didn't put it on too thick. But I think um, once I add the second and third coat, it's going to come out really good. Next, I'm going to move to the drawers. I'm actually going to make sure that I don't get this part. And I'm going to take these off and I'm going to clean them off. But I really like these and I like the color of them. And on the inside, as you can tell, they're dirty. At some point, I am actually going to put some um, drawer liners in these and make it look really, really nice. Like this, the second drawer actually has a keyhole, but it actually has the, ma the mechanics. So... Huh, from that color to that color. Um, so I had a hard time to put on that first brush stroke, but I think so far I'm pleased and I can't wait to see the end results. So there is a second coat of paint on the top and now I'm gonna get the side. As you can see, you can see some of the brush strokes. So I'm just gonna go ahead and see a little drip right there. So I'm just gonna go ahead and fix that. And do my second coat here yeah. so first I want to go this way with the paintbrush because I really want to get all the paint and all the nooks and crannies up here and then I'm gonna oh I am so excited to see the end results of this piece Think it's going to come out really nice and then what I do is I just do my brush strokes down first and then I just go and fix it see how you do that let me do it again I'm not a professional paint a painter okay so some of you are probably like oh my god what is she doing but I really want, I don't, I'm trying not to have any brush strokes, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back with a roller on the third, um, third coat of paint, but I really want these corners to look done and finish. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to keep doing my thing here, and I will show you more. I am super excited. All of the sides are looking really good. And I did the front, the legs, and I'm doing the front right now of my drawers. And it's really hard to keep this little key. Even I taped them, it was not taping so well. But um, I cannot wait for everything to be done. And then I could put it in my room. And then when it's in my room, I'll show you the reveal. But for right now, I'm going to keep painting. And when I put it back together, I'll show you what it looks like. So I'm at the third coat. I am looking and I am not really seeing too many paint strokes, brush strokes. So I'm pleased. So right now, I'm just going to let this be. Let everything dry and we'll go from there. So here is the dresser. I didn't, all I did was put the drawers back in. I only painted the edge of this because I really did not want this to be painted because if I'm writing or something so I'm leaving it and I don't want it's not it's dry but I'm not trusting it at under percent but I am in love with this little side table it even looks like a small dresser but love 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 it so now you'll have to stay tuned to when I place it in my room and what the what I put on it and what I 
finish decorating. But how cool is that? And today, this is where I put that bench that perfect spot, wasn't it? So whenever you see those treasures on side of the road, make sure you pick them up. So I hope you like this video. I hope you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching my um, trash finds and yard sale find. And I hope that um, you get inspired to redo a piece of furniture. Have a great day.